but this is why uh, um they yeah we're talking about that. 200 quid worth of repairs there we go as you can see feral feral combat paladin feral combat oh yeah and if you can see this this is me saying this now at this point during world of warcraft according to wow heroes that puts me in the top 20 of 100 hunters in the realm and i'm I'm not talking about Europe, I'm not talking about the world, I'm talking about my realm. That, because we were talking about gear, and I was saying, dude, why haven't you got better gear? You've been for ICC loads of times, blah, 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 blah. And as he points out, oh no, I was 60 odd, as you can see, 62, 63. Um, but as he pointed out, it, because he was good at this sort of thing, he knew... Um, he said basically the tanking gear for my spec was shit um, in ICC. He got the tier set, but that was about it. And um, Tok gear was better, basically. Tok tanking gear was better for tank for him for tanking ICC than ICC gear was. Um, I don't know how true that was, but I tend to believe that at that point in time, it was the truth. Um, because you can see, pre-Holy Power. Um... But I, I love Falcor, man. We talked loads. I remember it was him. He messaged me um, one night. And he was like, oh my fucking god, dude. The new expansion's been announced. It's fucking been announced. It looks amazing. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's fan What the fuck? And he goes, the next expansion for World of Warcraft. I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, well, what the fuck's that? And and it was like, he was like, oh my god. And he sent me the link. And I, I watched... The, the cataclysm video and I was just like and we spent about two hours just talking about this couple of minute video we used to have like massive long chats I fucking miss the cunt um yes he is where he's saying trinkets from top sorry not overall gear but trinkets um but yeah we used to chat for hours and hours and hours and this is during cataclysm again pardon me this is my death knight and he's, as you can see, 245 gear, pretty much. This is just before I took him into ICC. I got the sword and everything. Um, and I'm working towards my thing, where you have to get Festa Blood. Oh, my God, I forgot all about those quests and the amount of times. Like, there was some stupid raid rules, like, um, if you win one blood, you can't have the other. And it's like, that makes no sense. Then I can't complete like, the ones that I used to join were the ones that if you win the blood, you get the other blood. There's no fucking around, you get both bloods. We're not, we're not fucking around with this shit. Because it was stupid. I mean, what is the point in winning one blood and not winning the other one? I mean, it's just bullshit. But, I mean, my main three that I absolutely loved was my... My, my Hunter, my Paladin, and my DK. And to this day, those are my main three. My Hunter, my Paladin, and my DK. It hasn't changed. Um, as you can see, all this blood goodness here. Because blood DPS, no, no. Um, and this is my login screen from back of Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, this is obviously when you couldn't move stuff around. And as you can see, this is the actual order in what I can... I, I make things, and you've got my hunter, obviously, was the first character I ever created, and then my death knight, uh, my paladin, sorry, death screech was my second one, I swear I always get that one wrong, because death knight, death screech. anyway, that was my paladin, and then, funnily enough, my warlock, who didn't get leveled until Miss Pandaria, I created her, and she was level 24, all the way through like Cataclysm and I got to miss and I leveled her basically so she took forever to make Evil Essence although not on Bronzebeard anymore is on Silvermoon I transferred her because I needed to tailor on Silvermoon at the time and then there's my, my Death Knight and the Seer who is still on my account to this day it's my Druid um, some wild tanking stories about that one on fucking Cataclysm video. And, uh, 
uh, yeah, Giver, who no longer exists because me and my friend made Giver and Taker to Dwarf Paladins, and uh, it's kind of obvious what that was all about. <laughs> but that was that that was just hilarious. But yeah, this is my login screen. Uh as you can tell, I did quite well considering I started quite late, as in Wrath of the Lich King, like. Oh, it's my beautiful hunter, that horrible helmet. But yeah, I took this screenshot because I got two art furs and two skins, which was pretty unheard of. It's quite amusing to get those sorts of things happening. Um, but there was <laughs> it's me and Rich leveling new characters. That was when I was leveling the seer, and um, I don't know why I'm female. -looking. The seer is male. Um, I think that might have been someone else. I don't know. I can't remember. But it was. It's fucking funny. And as you can tell, I have a lot, you know, money and stuff. Could make uh, buy all my bags that I needed. Um, that character that Rich is using no longer exists um, because he changes all his characters all the time. Uh, he hasn't done for quite a while, but he he's quite interchangeable with his characterizations. And uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I mean, there was loads of highs in Wrath of the Lich King. I mean, uh, solo in for the, the 251 sword, solo in the cave, which was quite hard. Um, on my on my hunter, one of the few times I went Beast Mastery in Ice Crown, there was a a ring that you had to get to. Um, it was like the the ring where you 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 get a quest, a boss comes down, you kill it. It was like that, except you had to do a quest line to get to it. And there was no one available in my guild to help me with this. And I'd killed the first few as a, as as marksman because I'm always marksman unless I really have to change. And I got to got so far in, and then I just kept getting murdered because my pet would die. I couldn't res it quick enough. It was getting unhappy, and it wouldn't do the damage and keep the breath. So I decided to go Beastmaster, and basically was able to solo some of the hardest solo content, well, group content in the game solo, which was quite good. Also, I mentioned that I was in the top twenty geared hunters in my realm. For a while, um, that was that was quite neat. I mean, it, it didn't prove anything really. It just meant I was in the top twenty geared hunters in my realm. It meant that when my name came up in trade, people knew who I was. Um, they don't really nobody knows anybody anymore on on realms. It's kind of weird that it's lost that personal touch with realms. There's no longer a um, like. There was always people that you knew. Um, there was a guild that left that I used to I used to talk to this hunter all the time. I mean, he was far far better hunter than me, and I used to get advice from him all the time. I'd go on raids with them on time to time. There was all that sort of there was inter guild sort of chats, and um, if someone misbehaved, officers from one guild or GM from one guild would get in contact with officers of GM in another guild. We'd even have meetings together. Um, like, um, I can't remember. There was a meeting about one dude. There was a really famous troll on our realm. I mean, it was that famous, I can remember him now. Um, but, no, I can't remember him. But basically, I got stung by him once. And stinging me as an officer in a guild that was respected was kind of the wrong thing to do because the only people that would join his raids after that were people who had no clue. Basically we went to um, uh, Vaults of Abercom and he took all the gear and basically said oh you can buy this for two grand, that for five grand, this and that, whatever. Um, but there was a, me and a couple of members of Epics, um, there was couple of our friends from another guild who were officers 
and he kind of pissed off about five guilds simultaneously, which were kind of like the five quite big guilds on the realm at the time. Um, well, the most social big guilds. I mean, there was um, the Pathfinders who talked to no one. Um, apart from me, actually, that was another big point of thing. The number one raid guild on our realm wanted to recruit me because I went on a run with their alts and I didn't know that it was their alts. It was amusing. I went on with my paladin and we went through, um, I think it was Nat. No, it wasn't Max. It wasn't that time. That was the wrong. It was ICC. We went through ICC. That was the night we smashed all that raid, and they were on their like really lowly geared alts, and their tanks said to... it wasn't a complaint, believe it or not. But they said to me, "Look, I know you're not used to this, but you're doing too much DPS. We need you to calm down." I'm like, "Um, if I calm down too much, my DPS will be shit." And they're like, "No, no, no, no. It's fine. Just, just." Level it out a bit, let our, or or let our tanks get aggro severely first before you go in and plow the shit out of everything. And I went on a few raids with them, and I got a whisper one day from from one of their officers, they like one of their raid coordinator people, and he said, "Look, um, I know you love your guild and." Uh, your guild mates, but don't you want to progress more? And I was like, I'd love to fucking clear ICC um, 25H, I, I would, but you know, what do you want me to do? And they're like, we need, if you want to come with us to ICC 25HC, we need you to leave Epics and join the uh, Pathfinders. And I was like, I can't do that, dude. Just can't do it. As, as much as I would have loved to just have the ultimate progression. I mean, I would have been realm first. Realm first. I'd have a realm first achievement. And it's like, no, I can't do that. Honestly, I mean, trying to be. I, and I laughed about it in officer chat. And they were like, dude, you fucking crazy. Why didn't you go? I was like, well, because I didn't want to. That's not what I want. Like, when I raided with them, yes, it was fun, and yeah, we had a laugh, but that was because it was an alt run. Can you imagine a serious run with these guys? One fuck up. And they will go nuts. That's the sort of people they are. I mean, this is the sort of person I was. That's why they like me. I called out their tank on something. That's, I think that's what made them want to invite me, because the tank fucked up. And I'm like, what you do? Because I wrecked tanked the last part of the boss, basically, and had to bubble and all sorts of weird shit. But I was and, and I went nuts at the tank after the fight. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Where were your cooldowns? Why weren't you doing this? Why did you have him in this position? Why did you stand? And I just, like, li and he had no answer because obviously I was right. Um, because I was quite into raiding them. And, but I didn't want that. That's why I, I um, when I, when I was GM, well, I still am GM, but when, when I was GM of, and we were raiding, I would not lead a raid, not once, um, because I shouted too much, and I took it too seriously, and um, I'd get frustrated as a GM, like, I, I, I do remember I have booted the odd person from the guild um, as an officer, um, not so much as a GM, but as an officer, I remember being in one raid, and this guy was really being a, a nuisance, like, um, moaning about loot. And, and he was quite a new recruit, so he didn't really matter, but he was going, I should have this, because the person you gave it to, and I was like, dude, you're, you, you're a trial. You know, you're a trial. They're not going to give you loads of new gear for you to run off and join another guild. It's just, it's not happening. You know, stay with us a few weeks. You'll get gear. Don't worry about it. Heck, if, if you don't, I'll fucking craft it for you. I'll walk you through shit. I'll get you what you need to get. But you're a trial right now. You don't get it. And um, and also, I think one of the upgrades was for one of our main tanks. So we had, fuck you, you're getting an uh, upgrade over the main tank, motherfucker. Not happening. And <clears throat> I actually booted the guy mid-raid. And people going like, what are you doing? I'm like, no, I'm not having that. Sorry. Not having it. Not having a guy come in who doesn't know us, 
demands gear and thinks that because he's well known on the server he can get away with it. Fuck him. Not happening. Um I've I've had I I mean I'm not always saying I've always been right in World of Warcraft. I've had some right riders with people that are fucking wrong. But generally when I go at people, it's because I think I'm right. And if I think I'm right, then I'm not going to back down. Unless you fucking prove to me 125% that I'm fucking wrong, I'm not going to have it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think. I ended Wrath of the Lich King with three level 80s, all of which were pretty well geared. I mean, ICC 25 normal heroic mix of gear and a lot more experience a lot wiser i was at this point i was an officer in the guild i was made an officer during wrath because i played the game a lot i knew a lot about the game i learned i took it all in um i could run raids if i had to didn't want to because i was shouty um i'm better i'm as a person i'm better following orders than giving them Apart from in World of Warcraft, I can give the orders because I, if I, if I, because if I'm really confident in what I'm doing, uh, generally I, I'm happy to follow. Um, so yeah, I ended, say, I ended the Wrath of the Lich King pretty well geared, a lot more experience, a lot more gold, uh, in a good position for Cataclysm, I felt. Um, <laughs> We all felt we were in a good position for capitalism. It didn't quite work out that way. Especially at the beginning. Oh my fuck. Oh my fucking days. But that will be the capitalism video. Um, for now, if I think of anything else, I mean, I've gone through... Ah, oh, there's the other one. That was the accidental one where the tank was going a bit mental and going, why are you fucking full of my aggro? But yeah, that's... As you see, there's not many screenshots from Wrath of the Lich King. I just didn't remember. It was a bit more difficult to take them. I mean, as you can see at this point, I've got 3,370 achievement points. I, I, you've got to keep in mind, though, this isn't account-wide. This is just this character. Um, during, I think it was Cataclysm they brought in the account-wide thing. Uh, it might have even been missed. But definitely, at this point, um, achievements were individual. So my hunter uh, had the most, but my DK and my paladin had some that my hunter didn't have, which is kind of weird until, um, like, now the only achievements, I think, that aren't account-bound are, like, the PvP ones. Like, uh, my rogue has got a sergeant or something, um, because the one time I actually got interested in RGBs, um, I pugged and got up to like 1500 and I'm a PvP nab. I hate PvP. I don't enjoy it apart from this one time and Yeah, so That's getting off topic. This is the rap video and my phone keeps going off and fuck off. Um, so as I said, I can't really Think at this particular moment if there's anything else that I did during Wrath of the Lich King um there's probably little funny stories, well, there's most definitely funny little stories that I've missed. Um, what I'd like to do as well, I haven't spoke to Rich about this yet, but I'd like to talk to him about what he remembers from that for the Lich King, because he might remember little stories that I've forgotten. So, I'm not going to call this part one, because it really isn't. This is like my tired and ill recollection of Wrath of the Lich King, as I remember it. And... Um, yeah, so that's that's that, guys. Um, the next one I'm gonna do, I I still haven't got around to doing the episodes yet because I've been working long hours. I'm tired. Um, I'm not well, and it's just easy to make this video because I just have to put two bits of video together and then upload it. Um, I might even leave it as two parts and fucking upload that because that would be easier for me and my shitty bandwidth. Um, but overall, I loved Wrath of the Lich King. It was my opening foray 
in uh, foray or whatever, however you pronounce that, into World of Warcraft. Um, and I loved World. Of I I still love it to this day. That's why Warlords hurt so much because it was such a pile of shit. Um, but Wrath of the Lich King for me, it's not the pinnacle because that would be rose tinted goggles looking. What made Wrath of the Lich King more than anything for me was the people. The people basically made expansions for me. Um, that's possibly why Warlords sucked so bad, because there was no people. Everyone quit during Warlords. Um, but for me, the, the special memories that I have from meeting all these people in-game, that I still talk to this, to this day, we've still got our Facebook group, um, like, and we've all grown up, like, there's, there's a, a lady called Steph, I think she's subscribed to me, hello Steph, um, she's got her own little family now, she's got a, a lovely boyfriend, um, kids that aren't hers, but she treats them like hers, and it, you know, it seems that that's all happy and good, and, uh, well on Steph, um, Erica has moved to Japan, um, for a year, she's doing that, I mean, I've fucking jealous of the bitch for doing that, but like, Erica's moved on to, like, she's doing that for, I think, University of College or something, not sure what Craig's doing, because I haven't spoke to him for so fucking long, um, I could speak to Andy, I think, because he does, on occasion, go on Facebook, and he does have a PS4, and I do have them on my gamer list, and I do have them on Steam, so if I wanted to talk to the both of them, actually, though, on Steam, I could probably talk to them, but I'm just such a fucking lazy cunt, um, Rich, who, not, this is where it gets confusing, there's two Riches for me play it. RL Rich, which is real life Rich, real life mate Rich, and then there's other Rich, who I, he was a crazy motherfucker, I love that guy, um, but he's quit wow and he's doing other things with his life, um, Greg, I'm not sure what happened and why he quit, it was kind of like speculated that it was to do with a woman, but I'm not gonna fucking like speculate on that but I, I there was there was Nadia she had um she had a little baby bless her love Nadia to death she was GM after Falco fucking lovely woman um fucking loved her um oh it was Anton who still plays to this day he's not in the guild well he is in, in the guild on some characters but he, his main guild now is a raid guild. Can't really blame him because he wants to raid. Um, he still chants to us. He'll still run shit with me. Good bloke. Game designer, I think, was all that. Yeah, he is as well. Really like him. He's what, let's say, Swedish contingent. Uh, there's Petra, who does play. I haven't spoken to her for a little while. But her and her daughter play. Uh, Tess. Um, love them both. Like crazy. Petro was the one who beat me to level 80, by the way. The story that I told earlier. Um, there's one I'm missing. I know who it is. It's my sexy Swedish man who I tease constantly. He loves me to death. Um, he absolutely fucking loves me. Um, sorry, my phone's gone. But yeah, I, I tease this guy constantly. Fucking love him. So beautiful as well. Oh, I'm straight, but fuck, I could I just get lost in him in, in his eyes. I mean, Mick is just the most beautiful man on the planet. I mean, seriously, oh my god, I love you, Mick. Love you, fucking love you, long time. Um, but I mean, he doesn't play, but he, I think he has his team speed set still. I haven't been on team speed for so long. Um, but that was, that was the crazy bunch of motherfuckers that I used to play with, still play with some of the fucks, um, I love them all, and I, like, the ones I still have contact with and speak to, hi, sorry I mentioned you on a video, but it's kind of like my experience with Raph, I had to, um, and the ones I don't speak to, if by chance you see the video, hi, still love you guys, you're fucking awesome, you made World of Warcraft what it is for me, and it's kind of your fault that I do all this shit and make these videos, because, um, 
Yeah. And and Rich, my real life mate Rich, like calls me Wow Wiki or Wowhead. Because when he want, has a question, he just asks me. He doesn't fucking Google it. He asks me, and I usually tell him. Um, it's very rare that I have to say to him, chat about how I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that, that, that was my Rapid Lich King experience, sort of, as much as I can remember right now. Um, I'll try and talk to Rich and see if I can get him to chat about rap. But in the meantime, thank you very much, guys, for listening to my ill... Gonna hurt a simple fucking epidemic death rattle of a video. I will get those episodes up at some point. There, there. Oh, talking of uh, leveling episodes, won't be leveling anymore with Rich. He's hit 110 finally, my fucker. Well done, Rich. I will put a fucking note in the description to note your achievement. But yeah. So anyway, guys, if you like my long, rambling, dull video, then like and comment and all that bullshit, and um, I will see you next time, and that's this Butch Gamer signing off. Goodbye, have fun, and take care.